dozens, as many as 60 jobs eliminated at the University of Texas in Austin. And this week, the University of Texas in Dallas announced it was eliminating 20 jobs, all at the hands of Senate Bill 17, the state's ban on diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives in higher education. When we spoke with the author of the law, we asked him about the possibility of even more job cuts. Broadly speaking, you would say this is this is the intent of the legislation. This is what the direction that we want to go in. Absolutely. Texas Women's University is often known as the most diverse university. They have never had a university sanctioned funded DEI office. It's possible other public universities could make similar moves and announce similar job cuts. Democrats have sharply condemned the law. I think that we have to go back to the Capitol and demand that the language in the bill be changed. But this likely isn't the end of the discussion. Last month, Governor Greg Abbott said lawmakers are watching how universities react to the DEI ban and could take action. Knowing what we learn about ways in which they are not in compliance, we'll be looking forward to uh, implementing more compliance measures when we get into the next session uh, to make sure we are holding these universities accountable. Today, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick tasked the Senate to do just that, investigate and evaluate the ban on DEI with the goal of potential recommendations for new legislation with further restrictions. Some UT students, though, are pushing back. This afternoon, more than 300 students, alumni and university organizations condemned the closure of the offices and the job cuts, calling the implementation of the DEI ban a betrayal. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.